Hello team and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing with you how you can quickly set up a Pareto chart in Excel. After explaining how to set up the Pareto chart, I'll go into detail about how to read the chart and how it can be helpful. Let's jump in. Since a Pareto chart is generally used to help identify the relative importance of different problems or risks, I have a basic risk chart set up here on the left that displays the number of occurrences for given projects. In order to create the Pareto chart, I can highlight all of this data, go to the Insert tab at the top, and within this icon for statistic charts, you can click here, and underneath the histogram section, we have the Pareto chart. Just click to insert. After resizing the chart a little, we can delete the title. If you'd like to format the Pareto line, you can click it, and then right-click and select Format. You'll have some various options here, including being able to change the color of the line, the width, and the dash type. Another option I'd recommend is creating some space between each of the bars. In order to do that, you can click one of the shapes, then right-click and select Format Data Series. Here, we'll increase the gap width to 100%. The reason we create a Pareto chart is to visually display the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, wherein roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. When reviewing a Pareto chart, you want to focus your attention on the items that fall underneath the 80% cutoff line. The often vast amount of reasons or issues that fall above the 80% cutoff line may make up the majority of your bars within your Pareto chart, but statistically they are considered more trivial when compared to the other factors. Team, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.